Hello, Taurus. Welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. This is going to be your soulmate, twin flame, divine partner in love reading for September and beyond. Remember, time is an illusion. Energy is fluid. Whenever you're guided to listen to this video is the perfect time for you, Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you have Taurus strongly in other uh, planetary parts of your chart, uh, you I intend you get good messages out of this. If you have not listened to the Sacred Union video that I posted before all of these uh, love sign readings for the month of September, I encourage you to do so. It's a, I can't even describe it into words. It's a very extremely beautiful reading. I encourage you to listen if you haven't, or maybe listen again. I don't know. Maybe we'll get something else out of it. There's a reason I'm repeating this. Take what resonates with you and let the rest behind. Set your intentions for the reading. What would you like to get out of this, Taurus? You can look at this as the divine feminine, divine masculine within yourself. Like this can be all about you reading. Or you can look at it as if you are the divine feminine, that that's you. And the divine masculine is your partner or vice versa. However you want to look at this and whatever feels right to you is the best for you. It's your choice. Set your intentions. What would you like to get out of this reading? And we're going to get started. I prayed and I shuffled and these three cards. Um, these are the love activations. What's, um, what is, what are you moving forward with? What does spirit really want you to focus on that you've already learned and you're moving through and it's being activated so you can move forward on this journey and it's discernment. You are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. So spirit wants you to keep doing this. Keep using discernment. Ask yourself, if you're feeling anxious about it, you're doubting anything, you're feeling insecure, scared, resentful, regretful, shame, whatever that is, that's all fear. And that's not the truth. That's an illusion. The truth is love. So then switch it to a loving thought and looking at it from a spiritual point of view and cutting through the illusions. So spirit really uh, wants you to make sure that you're using discernment on your life, discernment on your thoughts, your belief systems, uh, what you're thinking about, balancing your thoughts with your heart space, facing your fears and moving forward in truth. Beautiful energy to be in, Taurus. This represents the divine feminine aspect of yourself, or you are the divine feminine, or this is your divine feminine. So this is the divine feminine energy that's being activated. Wow, how beautiful. This is the divine feminine. This is the empress energy, queen energy. The frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and be the divine mediator between heaven and earth spirit and matter so that unconditional love can flow from source through our heart and into the world. Wow, what a beautiful energy, Divine Feminine. What a beautiful energy to be activated within you is just pure, unconditional love and compassion for humanity, for yourself, and sharing that love, that beautiful, beautiful love that you know you have access to at every moment of every day to fill you and give you energy and enlightenment and move you forward, that you're going to share this with others because you are the light, Divine Feminines. You are the light. Oh, so beautiful. And this is the Divine Masculine aspect being brought into life now for you. And 23 is five is all about changes. Okay. So you've got a five and a six, you know, kind of on the right path, moving in the right direction, taking what you learned from the past and using it to bless you and move you forward. And so in the divine masculine aspect, the dynamic is being activated. The frequency of dynamic supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency. It helps us put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new, with ease, grace, and great joy. Yes, this is the divine masculine finally coming into full power, finally realizing that holding on to the past is not serving them, letting it go, allowing the new to come in. In, it, in this divine partnership within yourself is very familiar. This divine partnership that's coming in for you, twin flame soulmate, union or is with you now will feel familiar 
and also completely new. It's like both opposite sides, the shadows and the lights finally coming together within you. And you're just going to move through uh, life gracefully, compassionately, lovingly, enjoying every moment. Okay, so we're going to put this up here. This is all of what's being activated. It's what you have moving forward with the energy that's with you, Taurus. It's beautiful, beautiful energy. And you're very, very dynamic. You have a lot to offer, and it's time to rise up and speak your truth with compassion because you do have a lot of wisdom to share with people in the world, and you, have, you are very talented. Use that stubbornness about you to discern what's right for you and what's not and really go after, I don't know what I'm doing here, go after these, uh, you know, this new beginning, feeling differently, seeing things differently. Okay, that one wants to be out. So, wow, new beginnings in love. Loving yourself, that rainbow behind there, that's God's love. That's the universal love healing you. Finally getting you back into balance, opening your heart space again, healing your heart space, taking care of your physical body, filling your own cup, being compassionate for yourself, and moving forward with the divine partner. Look at that. It's like the divine masculine and divine feminine within you coming together and sharing this cup, letting it spill out into the world, into the universe. Wow, what a beautiful new beginning for you, Taurus. And look at this at the bottom is the full new beginnings. Yeah, walking a new path, walking into a new life. That's what I'm feeling. And it's very powerful. And look at that eight twin flame. I'm just... The synchronicities and the stuff that the channeled message that is coming to me and my intuition being so incredibly powerful right now, I feel like it's happening for a lot of you too. It's, it's an amazing, amazing experience. Wow. Okay. Give me a second. Okay, Taurus, these fell to the ground. They are very important messages, apparently. Yes, <clears throat> listen to your intuition. Pay attention to what's being, there are things being revealed to you now that were not revealed before because it wasn't time. And now that you're, you're using discernment and you have compassion in your heart and you're feeling this dynamic new energy of understanding it all and just move, going with the flow of the universe, listen. Listen to your guidance. Trust yourself. You, secrets are being revealed about how to move forward and about this love, this new love, this partnership, and, and what you are to do in within this union. You're moving on. Your intuition, your messages are telling you it is time to move on from the past. This is you moving on into the light. This is you moving into healing, restoration, rebirth. All you have is your compass to guide you. That's all you need because you have the wisdom, like in the fool, like to go walk through these doors. This is jumping timelines, moving away from the darkness, from everything. You've learned all you can from that. You've thought about it long enough, and now it's time to leave it all behind. You don't have, You don't need much to go with you. And you're just walking forward with this clarity and truth, trusting yourself, walking into these new beginnings. Look at this. Making a choice in love. This is the lover's card. Blessings coming forward. Another six. Blessings coming with these changes. Union. Sacred union. Look at how beautiful this masculine's heart space is like glowing with love. And this divine feminine is just like, yeah, I know it's you. Look, look deep into my eyes. You are going to see my soul. We've done this before. We've walked this journey before. This is reminiscent of a past life. You're remembering that you've been together, that you've been together in many lifetimes, that this is an eternal love, and you're making the choice to go towards this love. And that's a 666 on the board. Sixes are about beauty and blessings and magic in your life. Once you walk through that door, that's what you're walking into is beauty and blessings. You're being blessed right now, Taurus. It may say, take some patience and planning on your part, and but it's imperative that you get out of your head. You know, don't think too much about it. Know that this is your divine partner, your divine union within yourself. That it's strong, that it's stable, that it's committed. But but this is this is what's going to challenge you. Okay, is the mental conflict, being in your head too much, thinking about it too much. You, it's time to bridge that gap from your head to your heart and give yourself a break. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut instincts instead of like thinking about an overthink. I feel like sometimes it, you're overthinking. So use your discernment. 
does this feel good? Does this feel right? What am I thinking about? Does this feel like love? And if it doesn't feel like love, start thinking about the love. Think about things that make you happy. Think about how beautiful this union is. But it's time to make a choice. It's time, this is about making a choice. This is a two of swords at a stalemate. It's time to make a choice. Make your choice in love. And yes, you might have to plan on how you're going to go about it. You might have to plan how it's all going to play out, but it's time to make the choice. This is what you've been in conflict about. And what I feel, though, is you're ready to make the choice. You're ready. I'm going to put this back here. You're ready to make the choice to move on, and, and you're, you're planning your next steps. But be patient with this divine timing of allowing yourself to heal in this process when you're moving forward. Allow this divine partner to be brought to you or this resurgence of a partnership you're in. But it is time for new beginnings in love. It's time. Okay, we're going to move to the, those are the Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. We're going to move to the Energy Oracle just to get some more clarity for Taurus on this twin flame soulmate journey. This journey to self-love, loving yourself, filling your cup and sharing it with another. But twos are all about union coming together. You've got six, six, six blessings coming in. Five is all about change. So these are blessed changes that are happening. These, the changes within you, the things that are being activated, you're leveling up and you're getting messages and clarity like you never have before. It's all part of your plan. You plan this. It's time. It's time to move into this fresh new energy. Look at this. Yeah. Your third eye is being activated. You're realizing that you have the stability and support from the angels that you need to move forward. You're seeing things tr in all of their truth. You're able to cut through that mental conflict because you're allowing your third eye to open and seeing past the illusions, past the fear. You know, to me, much like your third eye open and intuition, working with the high priestess, the messages that are coming in, it's important to meditate, to go within, go, go out in nature, uh, take a bath, whatever it is that gets, you know, sometimes doing the dishes, uh, vacuuming can be meditative, but get yourself in that meditative spot, sit in silence if, if you wish, and, and that tr clarity and truth will come in. And look at this, patience and planning, planning your next steps, yeah, it's time to come up with a plan. They're helping you, the Ascended Masters are helping you, your spirit guides are helping you with this plan, the strategy to move forward into this divine union, moving on from the past, finally allowing yourself to heal, write it down, write down what you want. It, I'm recording this in this beautiful new moon and Virgo energy, which is all about, Virgos are all about organization and planning and healing. And so this is all coming to you now. And it's part of your plan. You wrote this. Meditate. Ask for the Akashic Records to be open. They will be open for you. The, your book of your life of what you came to accomplish is being revealed to you. That's what's being revealed to you with the High Priestess and how to move on. Taking the step. Look at that. Ta Holy crap. And another two. So you've got 666 and 222s two, two, on the board. You guys, I can't make this up. Look, it's time to move on. You are leaving the past behind. You are only taking what you need to go on this journey. You have your clarity and truth and spirit lighting the way, and you're going. You're taking one last look, and you're ready. It's time. You're moving on. You're moving on in, in a more mature way. Like you're, you're leaving... The past, the what you've learned as a youth in this time period, wherever you're at in life, and you're moving on with the wisdom. It's time to journey on. If this is a not, I mean, I, it's such a confirmation that it's time to move on from the past. Just let it go. Let yourself be relieved of the mental conflict. It's not serving you anymore to think too much about it. Write down your plan of how you're going to move forward, and then just follow through and let the universe guide you. That's it. Make it simple because look what you're moving into. These blessed changes are bringing you caring connections, people that actually care about you, your soul family. You're going to receive a gift, a small gift of something romantic from your divine masculine. And it's just enjoying the little things in life. It's enjoying this that someone's there to hug you and hold you and that you have friends that care about you and you're caring about yourself. You're loving yourself, knowing that you're coming into union or this resurgence of a union that you're in. But that's what you're journeying onto is carrying connections. And wow, and standing in your power, ending the cycles that need to be end. Tens are about ending cycles for these brand new beginnings in love. So you're standing in your truth. You're standing in your power. You're restored, standing your ground. You, you know that you're worthy and you know that you deserve this great love and this abundance in your life. And this is you. This is beautiful, beautiful energy to be standing in. And not only are you standing in your power with your clarity and truth, but you're ready to speak it too. You're ready to speak about it. I'm not. Well then. Oh, I'm not 
even sure what just happened just now. I don't know. That was the craziest thing, a, a FaceTime message from someone. I don't even know if you see that on the screen. I don't know if that was spirit giving you a call, but I don't think I've ever had that uh, happen while I was recording. So that's your call. That's your wake up call. Somebody's calling you, Somebody, you're gonna get a call. You're gonna get a call from someone, a FaceTime call, a, a, an email, some kind of communication is coming through like big time spirit speaking to you. I don't know, maybe spirit's calling you on the phone. I, I, you know, everything's possible. But let me get back to this. That was very crazy and strange. But you're not only standing in your power, but you're speaking your truth too. You're ready. You've got the clarity. You're ready to speak your truth. You're feeling good. You're going to express your love. You're going to get out there. You're going to tell people how you feel. You're going to take charge of your life and go after your dreams. And, and this to me looks like, like a, a musical instrument, almost like singing your, a song, creating music, dancing in life, and just having fun again, feeling good about yourself. Because you've taken the time to heal. You're ready for these new beginnings. You're leaving the past behind. You know that there's beauty and blessings right around the corner and, and carrying connections. And you're ready for it now. And you're ready to speak your truth about it. Or someone is about ready to call you and speak their truth because they got the clarity. Spirit is, uh, with that weird, that interesting phone call that just happened, that FaceTime phone call that, that interrupted it, it, it's just saying it's going to be big like that. It's going to be like, holy crap. This person's going to come into your life, contact you or something, and you're going to be like, whoa, give you this opportunity to move on, give you an opportunity in a career to move on, to move on somewhere else and to make this choice in love. Perhaps your divine partner is giving you a call. I don't know, but I want to hear about it. So please, if this plays out, let it play out through September. But when things like this start to happen, please let me know about it because this that was a super um, – interesting to me that um, spirit was speaking to us in that way and look at that at the bottom of the deck is another five so that's five 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 right there so these are blessed changes happening and this is spirit that was spirit's call no doubt that call was spirit's call whoa okay see what i'm talking about stuff like this is happening all the time for me my intuition is so strong that it's like i just know things and sometimes i can just speak with someone's higher self and then they reach out to me and, and text me and it was exactly what I had just soul sp speak to their higher self. I didn't even say it out loud, didn't text it, didn't communicate it, but I'm communicating. That's how powerful the communication I have is now and my intuition and connecting with others. It's pretty incredible. So start paying attention to that. What do the romance angels have to say for you, Taurus? It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yes, it's safe for you to love now. It's safe for you to accept this divine union, this new beginnings in love. I'm going to try to clean, clear these up. Uh, it is. It's safe for you to love. You're riding into victory. It's you feeling good, finally understanding that this is what you came here to do, to enjoy this sacred divine union. I'm so sorry. This is so hard to, uh, to, to pick up. But it's a harmonious union. I just like this picture, so I wanted you guys to see this. Okay, so new beginnings in love, and it's safe, okay? This love is safe. This union is safe. It's safe for you to open up to again and express yourself. Ask yourself, does this person make you feel good about yourself? Does this person empower you? Does this person encourage you to live out your dreams? Does this person support you and is there for you and is patient with you and kind and loving with you? Well, that's your truth, okay? It's your truth. Pay attention to the red flags always, okay? There will be signs along the way that are cautioning you, that mental conflict. Remember, we talked about this. When you start doubting yourself or going back to old ways, old belief systems, old energy, just shift yourself out of it. Say, okay, got it. Why am I thinking this? What is it teaching me? And I'm going to let it go. And you might have to continue to do that a few times. That's how it's worked for me. It's like something will resurface and I'm like, dang it, but I already dealt with this. But then I'm like, no, what else is there to learn here? What's it teaching me? And then I, I, I get it. I get the answers. I listen to what spirit's telling me and then I move forward. But always pay attention. Be discerning. See, that's the energy you're in. Be discerning. Not every person that comes forward to you is going to be the right person. If you have choices and decisions to make and you're trying to decide between the person, go towards the partner that make that allows you to be you, truly authentic you, no mask, nothing, just truly, truly you, and that makes you feel good and that makes you feel happy and safe and protected and loved and nourished. That's the partnership you're going after.
No more fear anymore. Look at this. Look what fell on the ground. This is true love. This is the love of a lifetime. This is that. This is a romance of a lifetime. <laughs> and, and it's a high level of commitment here. Somebody may be getting married or thinking about marriage one day. Like this might not, might not mean you're getting married soon. It might mean you're getting married soon. And this is definitely your soulmate. It's safe for you to love. This is true love. But this could just be what you're both manifesting. And one day you will be married or one day you will have this level of commitment with this person because this is your true divine partner. And look at that. Now you're getting married and you're going on your honeymoon or taking a retreat. Wow. That's a really cool confirmation. It's time to disconnect from the world. Go on a vacation together. Go away together. Just be together. Maybe this is a, a renewal of vows and like a resurgence of a, of a relationship you've been in. But this is very loving. This is a true partner. Walking forward together. Love begins. Brand new beginnings in your love life. I mean, it's right all over the cards. Brand new beginnings. I'm still tripping out over that phone call a little bit. I'll have to do some investigation to see who that was from. <laughs> you probably see it on the screen, I guess. It's funny. Very interesting. Life is, is fascinating to me. I, Mother Nature is fascinating to me. I, I absolutely love it. The deer is peeking through the trees to communicate with me when they were walking away. And all I did was start talking and say, hello, I honor you. I love you. I cherish you. I, I'm not here. I'm here to just give you thanks and appreciation. And they turned back around and I'm not kidding you, peek their head through the trees. It was an amazing experience and it's happening more and more. So start paying attention to that, Taurus. Let's see about your health and well-being, what the fairy tarot message is about your health and well-being. Wow, the magician. You're magical. You have the power to live your life and create the life. You can do anything. Take charge of your health. Eat better. Exercise. You're on the right path. This is you on the path, on the journey, on this journey. It's all about the journey, not the destination. But look at that. There's your castle on the hill that you've built, that you deserve, that you're on the path to go to this castle, to enjoy this new life, to enjoy this love union, the sacred union, the sacred sexual union with another person. Like that's what I'm feeling. And look at this. Love begins and brand new beginnings and you're the magician. You have the power to uh, move in any direction that you want to move. And if you want to take charge of your health and well-being and bring yourself back into stability, you have all of the uh, information you need and the people and resources in your life to help you do that. It's, it's you have the power and control over this. You're, you're finally realizing that coming into yourself that you are creating your reality. Thoughts turn into things. So clean up your thoughts. Be discerning on who you are in partnership with in business, in friendships, um, and who you're associating with because they really do affect your energy. Be compassionate and be loving, but set your boundaries and take control of your life because it's time for you to enjoy life and um, enjoy all the magic that it has to bring. And, and to me, I feel like that's new beginnings in health. You're overcoming some something that's been going on. You've not been feeling well, something out of whack, but you're coming into balance health-wise, which is beautiful. You have new beginnings in that. You're going to be, someone's going to offer you something, some advice, or they're going to come forward with some kind of clarity and truth to help you on the, on your health and wellness journey. This is for um, your career in finance, and this is the um, wisdom of the oracle. So the messages here for you, Taurus, for career and finance are that you are building your um, legacy, that all the steps that you've taken so far in life, all the things that you've experienced, whether they're you know, shadows or light or contrast, you know, happiness, joy, or the fear and the disappointment, the hurt, whatever it is, it's all, you're, you're building the castle. You see that castle up there? You're building your legacy. You're building your own castle because of all the experiences that you've been through. So every person, every relationship, every friendship, every work experience, everything you've ever experienced, you brought to yourself to help you get to the point you're at. Tens are about ending cycles and brand new beginnings. You're about to embark on a new journey where you are really, really building a strong foundation for yourself because of everything you've learned and now you know how powerful you are. This is ending the cycles, taking everything you've learned. Remember, we journeyed on. It's the, the messages were all over those cards. You might want to listen to this again. It's, it's time to move on out of what's not serving you. Take the wisdom into these new beginnings. And oh my God, how beautiful.
beautiful as this. Look at you. You are poised and ready. This is the universe saying you have done everything that you could possibly do in your career and finances. And now all you have to do is open up your heart, open up your arms. Look at those wishes that are just touching your fingers. They're right there. Your wishes are coming true. Abundance is yours. Just allow yourself to receive. You've done the, the, the work. These, these new beginnings, these ideas that you're getting are going to be abundant. Whatever job you're in, career you're in, you're going to level up. There's money coming in. There's opportunities coming in to give you even more stability. But you are poised and ready. You've done everything you need to do. Allow yourself to receive. You deserve it. You deserve it. Allow yourself to finally receive. Ah, so amazing. Beautiful, beautiful new beginnings. We're going to use the Moonology cards to get a final message from Spirit for Taurus, highest and best. No, not a big chunk. Let's get let's get one message, please, Spirit. One message. We need these cards right here. Best message from Taurus. All right, all right. I'll take two. Fine, fine. I'll take two. <laughs> Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, so you want confirmation, right? I just said I was recording this and it's it's today is the new moon in Virgo and you got the new moon in Virgo card. You are so on point with your life right now. You are so much in the energy that you were supposed to be in healing opening your heart again. And it says it's a time to give rather than take. So it's time for you to give to others. It's time for you to share your truth with others. It's time to share your love with others. It's time to open up again. It is safe for you to love. It's safe for you to express yourself. It's a time of healing and giving rather than taking. So give, allow yourself to give because the more you give, then you're poised and ready to receive more. The more you give, the more you receive. The more you open yourself up and you express yourself and you're honest and truthful and you let go of the past and you end the cycles and you move forward, you will receive even more. And some adjustments, adjustments may be required for you, Taurus, at this time. So some adjustments, maybe you've been guarded with your giving of your love. I'm feeling giving of your love. You know, it might be money and finances, but I, I really feel it's about your heart. Maybe you've been kind of guarded because of what's happened in the past and you're, you haven't allowed yourself to, to give love again because you're just, you know, been living in fear of it not working out or you being stabbed in the heart again. But it's time to have faith and trust and open your heart space again and give your love. Just express your love. Give it. Those are the adjustments that I'm feeling are required. But if you're feeling inclined that some other adjustments, maybe maybe it's time for you to leave a relationship because you know you're meant for a better relationship of someone that's more of a true divine partner. So maybe it's time to leave and that's the you know opening the gate, walking forward and this journeying on. And so adjustments are required. You're going to have to adjust where you live, your living arrangements, how you're taking care of things, how you're taking care of your kids. But it's all going to work out. It's all blessed and you're ready to receive blessings. These are the building blocks of life. This, this, these are the steps we take on this journey. It's all about the journey and what we learn. And now it's time for new beginnings in your life. And I would love to hear about what your new beginnings are. And because it's a new moon in Virgo, I want to read a little bit uh, from the book. Okay, Just because you pulled the card of exact time that I'm reading this. This is pretty cool. When this card comes up, it's time for you to take stock of your situation. Where are you and where, where do you want to go? The new moon energy of this card suggests a restart. And the Virgo energy suggests you make that restart a clever one that's simple and well organized. It's all about strategy and making the plan, right? Virgo also has a strong health aspect to it. So if you've been unwell, this card suggests that your health is on the up. Exactly what I felt. Virgo loves cleaning or loves clean eating and alternative therapies. So add these into your routines now however you've been feeling. If a situation is blocked at the moment, it could be that you're overanalyzing things. There you go, that mental conflict. I got I love spirit. Or being too critical. It's time to ask less what someone else can do for you and to think more about what you can do for others. Commit to healthy routines. Commit to yourself. 
so in a being of service and all the blessings are coming to you they're all coming to you and any adjustments that you need to make on the way are they're going to be easy it's not going to be hard i don't feel any hard it's just adjustments in the way you're thinking about things the way you're perceiving things just that slight shift in, in perception is what's going to change everything and choosing yourself and nourishing yourself and allowing yourself to have these new beginnings allowing yourself to enjoy this love again feeling the love of the universe being poured upon you and sharing this love with others. I wish you many blessings and I am so thankful for all of you. Please hit the like button, share with someone else, subscribe, comment. It, it all helps me move forward and I like to hear from you. It's, it's very enjoyable for me. Thank you.